Hello, everybody. Welcome to the show. Good morning. Good afternoon. Dobre din. And I am extremely excited. This is a kind of a matchup that I think I speak for both of us when I say this, Keith, that this is a matchup that we have both wanted to see for a while. Namiga versus Crazy. And I couldn't even be any more happy to see this video come out. Let's go. Let's go over the video here really, really quickly. So the first map is Nuke. Second map is Mirage. The third map is Vertigo. And we're already on our way. So, I mean, hey, straight to the action. You won't hear me complain. Yeah, Nuke. Uh, Namiga been playing it a ton. 22 maps. Crazy less so. But we know they're great on this map. As Yo is going to be able to get the first. And what a spin from Lollipop on the site with a CZ. He has two kills and he has to get bailed out by Speed Act. What? Roy, we're already in for a treat. I can already tell you. That pissed around already has given me good vibes. Crazy may have gotten shut down, but they gave it a valiant effort. The Miga are here to play. I can't be more excited to see Nuke, a map that both these teams consider a staple in their pool. Honestly, this could have been a grand final. And I'm I'm happy we get it here, though. <laughs> yeah, this is definitely grand finals material. I think this is probably the best matchup we have seen yet. And interestingly enough, Crazy has played this map six times on HLTV, and they've won all six. And Nika has played this map 22 times, and they've won 60% of the time. So, a bit of farmage happening here for Amiga. Of course, this was just an eco, so a double kills going to the MP. Actually, all five kills going to the MP9. That's a ton of cash is picked up now by the Amiga side. But the, the fun end games are over here. The AK-47s are out to play. Full utility along with that. Mostly full utility, I say. But an interesting buy already for Namika. I think they've passed some guns around. They've got an op out for Speed Act already. They know this is going to be a full gun. And they want to contest this as early as possible. Ooh, toxic. Towards outside. That's a big pick to find on box. Gonna open up this round nicely, Roy. And with Crazy getting the opening pick, they're just kind of chilling. They're big chilling. Not a lot of pressure. They do have Speed Act be deep back garage that off. But Crazy have maintained lobby control. They've held off on the ramp push. They can regroup at a moment's notice right now. It. it appears like they're going to be smoking hell and trying to get in towards Mini here. Okay, At so. least that's the feeling I'm getting. Yeah, I think that as well. Speed Act, he just he does not want any of that. He knows that if they get into this mini for free, it's going to be a proper for the defender. Lollipop is spraying away through the door. He gets one. Yo, almost finding two of his own. But Speed Act responds immediately. Toxic. 12 HP. Going for the bomb plant for that extra cash. But, I mean, his chances of winning this round are going to be tough. But, oh, I like this. Using the smoke to bait. Wait, did Speed Act see him? Yeah, oh, he did. did. MDS just decks him. And Namika pick up the 3 0. Yeah, you want to hear something weird? Sure. Namika, uh, according to odds on these betting websites that I'm seeing on HLTV, are a serious overdog. Like, we're talking a 1.09 really? payout compared to like the 6.09 on Crazy Side. I, I didn't feel like this was that big of a, of a difference. No, I, I don't think it is, but I feel like that happens every time Crazy play. Even last time, uh, who did they play? They were still an, an underdog, even though when they should have been the favorite. So, I feel like it's just people sleeping on Crazy because they don't play uh, official stuff. It's the crazy effect. Namiga, of course, we know their talent, so I guess it's easier to bet on someone you know than someone that you might not see as much. Definitely doesn't justify the means, though. As it is just a couple deagles and glocks into this one, Roy. It looks like the round's just going to get swept under the rug. We're going to move on. Namiga will be up 4-0. And that'll just be facts. Sensei and Sergez would love a bomb plant. But uh, let's be honest, probably not going to happen, Roy. Yeah. I'm willing to take those odds. Probably not going to happen. I think economic damage is like... King kind of rock, right? Just get one more kill. Guarantee that they're probably negative. And there it is. That extra kill. There he is. If he finds one more. 
That's not great, but fortunately he can't. But it all is well. Three kills for Yo. He's off to a pretty good start. In with Lollipop, who's at six kills, two assists, a single death. And now we're on to the second gun round. This is the, this is the real gun round, right? The last time was kind of a bit of a bonus for Amiga. They secured that. Now it's on to the full gun. AKs, M4s for the CT side. Full utility, full kits, full AKs. Op for Sensei now. Who, of course, has been a huge part of this crazy success in many ways with the Op. So the early pick potential. He went for the door pick. Nothing to be found. He got denied by the, by the smoke. Gonna move the op around a little bit. Yeah, and I couldn't, I, I couldn't agree more. When Sir, when Sensei's having good games, it, it, I, I haven't seen Crazy win a game where, where Sensei hasn't been playing well. So I, I do feel like he is a very vital piece to Crazy and how they play. Couldn't agree more. And we are gonna get the cross smokes, the counter molly from Speed Act. With a minute to play, they can just wait this out. They may even boost Sensei top red, perhaps, if he's feeling it. No, they're going to put Sergez up. This is going to be the clear secret, perhaps? There's a one-way smoke oh. there. It's getting a little weird. Fox is... Yeah, should, should kill him. Yeah, oh, what, what a play a from Box. Nade, so well dude. done, yeah. Wow, that, that was right between his feet. Come on, man. That's just rude. Here we go, though. Opening pick. Information... Uh, but I feel like crazy are getting iced out, Key. Like, this is 30 seconds. They don't even know what they're doing right now. They're committing onto a bomb site with three defenders on it. They've not played the map well. They've not flushed it out nearly well enough. And Amiga have already at five in what is a flawless gun round here. Five alive. That's terrifying. Now they got yeah. three AKs instead of one Key. Their AKs are, are exponentially growing like COVID cases. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they are. And, uh... They're money. It's only going to get better from here. Crazy. With a little bit of utility and pistol to try to get down vents. That is sloppy. Most schemes typically throw the smoke or try to get out through it. But hey, you know what? They live. That's all that can be said about it. But MDS is not going to allow this plant to happen. There's no way. Oh, wow. He is. He thought it was. He heard it. Plant Wait, below him. What? And he dies. <laughs> all right. His headset is on backwards. It really yeah, is. Yeah, all right. Someone get this, someone get this man another headset, please. Yeah, he is, uh... <laughs> he's gonna be a little upset. At least Defuse come in, since then it may try to stop it, but yeah. Honestly, very surprised he allowed that plan to go down. I, as I said, I guess his headset's on backwards. I think everyone's headset's on backwards, because they didn't even hear him taking a few steps above their heads either, so... <laughs> yeah. Everyone take a break. Let's uh, get our headsets on correct. I swear, I've yet to find the perfect headset. I feel like every headset I get is always awesome for the first few days, and I don't know if my brain just tunes it out eventually, but they just become meh. Anyways, as a side note. So, early pressure towards the EA site for Crazy. Trying to pull as much utility as possible, of course, which is pretty standard things. Wait, are they resorting... They might be resorting to a set. Yeah, it's looking nade? like it. Oh, it breaks the window. Sure, the nade. Uh, okay. Nade breaks the window, splashes in. They get one on entry, but Speed Act drops out of heaven, and this site is just shut down. Not open for business. The bank has foreclosed it. They've locked it down. They've said no workers allowed, and Crazy's been held off. As although Cycle Find may get two, it's just too many numbers here for Namiga. What's scary about Namiga? Is how not only do they shut down a hits, but how quick everyone rotates in. It is absurd how fast they're able to get everyone there. Yeah, and they're, and they're the team that's willing to go through the smokes and go through the choke points on contact, right? Like as soon as they hear their teammates fighting, they're not like, "Oh, I'm smoked out. Oh, I'm mollied out. Let me wait." It's like, no, I hear my teammate fighting. I'm in the site instantly. Like everyone is there instantly. You know, that's that's actually really yeah. hard to deal with for a lot of teams, especially if you're not flushing the map correctly. Especially if you're not applying pressure outside or applying pressure towards ramp. It, everyone is there. Instantly. The mini player is coming in. The seven player is coming in. You already have your two defenders already on the site. Like, this is four people within seconds. And, and I feel like Crazy are just not playing the pressure correctly at the moment. But here we go. Ramp early. They have brute force of utility. And now they're going to use a bit of their own utility to ice out speed act. Cut him off from the teammate. And now they're starting to pressure, right? Now this is where they can start to work the map. 
they're not really working the map. They're just transitioning into a B bomb site hit. Well, the hit's coming in. Bomb will try to be planted. Sergez making a play to double door. The fact he's allowed to do that and double in. Now the plant gets stopped. And if they try to come down vent, Sensei's here. Lollipop, don't do it. You're better than this. He'll show his feet and he'll get shot for it. That's a lesson to be learned. Whenever someone gets punished like that, it's always they always have that moment of I know I shouldn't have done that. Always. Yeah. <laughs> Every time. Or like or just do like the, the Mario ladder peak where it's like you go up and down Oh okay. Yeah, okay. Nice shot from Sensei and Sergez though. I mean yeah. Uh, this is kind of what we we're expecting, right? Like, Sensei is the guy who has been so reliable for crazy. And the Sergei cycle fine. Those guys have been popping off. But 7 to 1 key. It always makes its way back. And the gun run is back out. Although, Namika has a huge lead. Their economy is not really that far ahead. Like, it, this is a full buy. Speed Act is the only one with 7,000 left. Yo has a buy of, for, of his own in the next round. But after that, that's it. No one can buy. It. Unless they save some weapons. Like, if they can hold on to two guns here, maybe they get out a pretty good vibe. But otherwise, maybe not. So, crazy. They're switching up the pace a little bit this time. They're not going as fast towards any part of the map. But they're starting to advance on the outside courtyard. We get a couple of players on top. A couple of players sneaking into our shadows. Get players on top of mini. Now the smoke, the second phase of the, the outside attack comes in, right? Smoke off windows. Smoke off mini. Malls off come through. Push off all the angles. Deny information. Flashes to push people back, but then you walk straight into speed act and you die. Yeah, he, he was playing AC. It's hard to trade him out. He's taking some damage. The oh. peak from credit card from Fox. What a punish from Psycho Fine. The fact that he has the audacity uh, to flick over like that is just blows my mind. Flashing mini. Yo couldn't even sn like he knew where he was just based on the scent, but he couldn't see a thing. Roy, he was so blind. MDS, lollipop. Both still towards the A site. And crazy, I have a feeling they're going to commit A. Demq is going to come back to lobby. Probably start to push in from hut. They're going to pinch from heaven and mini. Sergez will flash out. Lollipop. Let them know they're here. They know both players are here. And they're still committing, Roy. One, Demq has to trade this out. And he will through the smoke. Risky business from crazy to continue to press forward for that one. Yeah, that's enough to get them their second round. I'm like 99% sure the guy in heaven heard the player fall off and, and commit to the A site. Like, he, there was a clear audible that that was happening. I'm really surprised they'd risk it on the A site. I mean, they could, oh, they had uh, could pretty much for free. But either way, a bit of team damage coming out early here. Uh, come on, guys, dude, play nice. But I guess they do, they do pump out a buy after all. Not the greatest, though, I will say. Russian key. That's the that's wow. the that's the key in this round for for Namiga it seems. Yeah. They push. They get one kill. Instantly falls back. Leaves speed axe set up for a potential second kill if anyone wants to give chase. But it seems like, I think as long as speed axe in this position, like this is a ton of information flowing, right? Like they know these smokes are are legitimate. This is not a fake because he sees everything happening in lobby. Where does crazy go from here? They boosted up Sensei on red box. The heaven pick or the hell player. A good trade from Lollipop. Not even a trade because MDS lived. As Fox will be jiggling, he'll drop his molly. They're going to be throwing the vent flash that lands on the top of the vent. No, they'll hold off. But they are going to stay behind the smoke and Fox could be in some trouble here. Sees the flash coming. Not the greatest flash to be completely honest. And Box gets two. Sensei last man standing. Will get dinked up. And a 1v4 of the top. Unless he finds Yo and is able to fly back up into A. He may be in some trouble. As he'll try to come up. And not this time. Yo will claim it. Could grab a second up if he wants. But uh, no. Yo. Remember that voice line from Dota Underlords? Hey, yo. I Oh, you're right. That's like... That's like when the game first came out. When it was good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly, exactly. Yeah. Even the developers so always want to change things and switch up the formula on you. But here we go. Crazy looking to switch up the formula on Amiga. They go straight for the upper A hit. They go one for one so far. 
but they can't get past Yo, who gets not only two, three kills on the defense. It felt like he was solo too. Like no one was there to support him whatsoever. And Yo gets three. Lollipop, Yo are just popping off right now. And Crazy gets stunted once again. Economy in the shambles. And Amiga are on their way to a potential double digit finish here on the CT side, Keith. On what is Crazy's map pick. I think what's what's actually kind of weird about these two teams is that they they have a bit of overlapping maps, don't they? Like there, there's not really a map you can pick that will kind of catch the other team off guard. Yeah. Well, what's crazy about that last round too is like Yo was so blind and couldn't see a thing, and still able to fight for three while the Molly was burning him. Um. And it was a deep brigade run until Demcube's head got popped. One saving grace is the AK picked up towards ramp. But you can just see how quick Namiga are able to just get a player in towards hell and towards this. You all and just cut this down. No pressure from Namiga Roy. They're already going to be up 10 to 2. <laughs> Three players that are fragging in the teens. No one double digits yet. Be crazy. But I do feel like this is going to be one of those CT-sided matches. I feel like Crazy are going to be equally as match pound for pound to get on their CT side. I think they only need four or five. I'm going to be honest. That's my feel. Yeah, I mean, we, we've seen Crazy play on the CT side, right? Like, when they're going, they're really going. Their, mm -hmm. their protocols are very on point. Uh, interestingly enough, though, uh, Crazy is one of my teams, Keith. You know why? They don't, why? They don't play Dust 2. Mm. And I love them for that. Good job, crazy. Keep it up. Actually, I'll be enough to Namiga. Don't have any trainers on record. Although, for some reason, in my memory, I remember them playing train. Maybe I'm tripping, as they say. Either way, it is going to be aggression here for crazy on the outside. Sending two players out. They have a player on the high ground as well. Trying to keep tabs. Trying to support as much as possible. As Sensei looks for the opening kills with the off key. Of course, uh, the ideal weapon to find opening picks. But they, they really do have to kind of maneuver this well, because every time they've tried the outside control, they've gotten picked apart by Speed Act. Luckily this time, he's not really there at the moment. But now he's on like, oh, mm, I smell something outside. I'm coming. Yeah, he's on his way. He's not afraid. It's just going to be crossbow again from Crazy. I enjoyed their Heaven Wrap that they did a while ago. That worked out so well they, when they smoked hell and were actually able to deal with speed act. That's crazy. Mollying secret. Another molly from speed act. Spraying through the smoke from box. That was the only outside player. They're coming back to lobby. Yo, oh no. They're coming into his loving arms once more. This time shut down after only getting one. And look at the damage on Sergez. He'll try to enter. They can always cancel and go down bench, but here comes Olipop pushing off the site, being aggressive. Beef for the flash. And Sensei's alone, 6 HP and another 3k from another A site defender on Namiga. This time, Lollipop. He's 18 to 4. They're yeah. so aggressive in their setups. And I, I I love that the way they're playing new. It, it is in your face, but it's to their advantage because of the, the choke points. And that's kind of like the big the big takeaway, right? It's like they're aggressive within their means. They're not like pushing, giving crazy free kills or anything like that. They're just like, all right, I, I smell weakness. This is a strong angle for me. I take it. And it's working. 18 and 4. 130 yards. Sorry, 140 ADR? That's absolute madness. And crazy. They're running out of ideas, Keith. They're going to go for the AK here. Tech 9, the armor, flash is raining in from above. It's good enough to blind one. We got one opening pick. Lollipop is good for one. And Yo is still up here. He's alive. He's well. The A side's locked down. Sensei Glock remaining. Oh, wait, that's a shiny M4. Ooh. <laughs> he has to get through three CD players. I think timing's on his side if he just kind of sits and waits this one out. Spots the player up in top rafters. That's one. He still knows there's a player top hut. You know what? This is winnable. This just has to isolate one more fight. Little does he know they're both on backside with bomb control. So, and by the time he rotates around to heaven, they'll probably assume what's what. So, he's going to need some good timing. He's going to need someone to look away from Namiga. Amali gets picked up by Yo. I bet they'll smoke heaven at some point, maybe soon. But Sensei's gotten some good timing. Here he comes. 
Right when Amigo push into clear hut. Now they look back. Yeah, he was always on the clock. Nice awareness. Almost made that interesting, Keith. But unfortunately, that was just a full eco. So all things are back to the realm of sanity. But it's a 12-2 half already for Namiko. This, this is a possible 13-2 half. That is, uh, I feel, almost unrecoverable. Like, you really need this 12-3. Like, yeah. urgently, desperately. I don't know what other ease I can use to, to emphasize how important this round is, Keith. Go, Dem Q. Gets down Vent Roy. Is he gonna check his left? Yeah, box. Perhaps didn't get the calm when he wanted it. He seemed a little caught off guard and, and very occupied. And Dem Q's gonna keep it rolling. Three for him. That's more like it. Make it four. He wants the ace. That is an en a man on a mission, an entry who does not want to die. And he will lock out this round, Roy. Unless Lollipop can perform some sort of magic. <laughs> This should be it. It should be all wrapped up pretty nicely for Grace. And he'll get the ace. Give wow. It he deserves he, it. He almost doubled his kills. <laughs> In one round. a boy. Yeah, he's actually the only player that's over double digits, too. Wow. What a performance from them in that round but overall what a performance from Namiga on that CT side just locking it down he almost made crazy look like bots but we know how good crazy is like that, that this is crazy oh, I hate the fact that the team name is crazy because I can't even say yeah, crazy yeah yeah but here it is the A rush straight up for Namiga looking to take the fights immediately no one is home this is a free A bomb site crazy opted for the triple sack towards ramp but of course the protocol is for this kind of setup is either push ramp or immediately flood heaven and they're gonna go through the back to the lobby. Lollipop needs help immediately. OMDS pushing in, gets one, able to take him down. Vidak swinging out, leaving Sensei alone. And Sensei just gets tapped out. That was a must win pistol from Crazy. Namigo robbed that. Crazy probably have no for no choice but to force here. As Miga are looking like an unstoppable force. Is this like the real test for crazy? Like, what is going on? I did not expect this. Yeah, I, I have no idea. It, it seems like they've met their match, doesn't it? Wow, I am surprised and impressed by the Miga. Here it is. Now they've gotten the opening pick on the A site, forcing that player to peek out. Unfortunately, there are still guns available here for Crazy, so they can maybe fight back. But Dem's only good for one. The two for one trade gives them access to the A bomb site. The bomb will soon be planted. Towards the mini position, Keith. And the Mies are extremely well set up, and I think Crazy are. Yeah, they're starting to abandon. They're going to hold on to these guns, try their luck again in the next round. And 14 to 3. Wow. Yeah, this is uh, definitely dangerous times now for Crazy. Um, Namiga, <laughs> these guys have been just honestly getting better and better every year. I feel like we talk about this every time they're on broadcast, but it's just they've made very minimal changes. They've been consistent and they've been improving because you can see some teams that get stagnant they get complacent kind of like envy in north america a team that i thought would be way better than they are but have not improved in the slightest they have been consistently ugh, for like six months now well the mega over three years you've been able to see that improvement even though it's slight these guys are becoming beasts bro. Yeah, I, I, I'm sorry, I was just going, uh, I got kind of sidetracked going through the history of Namiga's recent match performance. Very interesting match, match history, I will say. And it seems like they're down there transitioning into the ramp. Tycho fine, ices him out a little bit with that smoke, but he's not letting them do the choke. Point. As soon as they get back to the choke, point, it becomes a lot messier. And Lollipop, just the constant aggression and relentless pressure coming out from Namiga is, is too much for Crazy Heat. 
Seemingly so. I don't think they can afford a save, right? You gotta kinda attempt this 2v4. They're gonna start gifting the kills as they fall back. And they only gift up the one since they here. Missed scout shot, and that is 15 for the Meagle Roy. This has been a dominating nuke, which has only lasted so far, I think, 25, 30 minutes? That's a short nuke game. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, true. That is a very short nuke game. You're right. This is it. This is the final dance. Like, crazy... To be fair, I, I have seen teams come back from worse. I've seen teams come back from a 15 and 1. Definitely doable. Definitely doable. They just gotta grind for every round. No mistake, Counter Strike. Get the opening fights in your favor. Have all your rotates in the right places. It's a lot. Okay. It's definitely a lot. So doable. But doable for sure. Yeah, doable for sure. Doable enough to bet your chickens on it? If I had chickens, let's say I had 10 for argument's sake, I'd probably bet a half of one if possible. <laughs> okay. That sounds that sounds a little bit savage. Yeah. I like my chickens, right? <laughs> well, think about it this way. You bet half a chicken, you might get 15 back. You know what? I'll, I'll You got me. I'll do a full hen. Well, Namiga have made it down uh, secret. And as they waltz to the B site like they own it, they'll be bent with a smoke and Serga's top catwalk. Oh, look at Lollipop's position. Oh, Lollipop only gets one though, Roy. Toxic finally will deal with him. He needs to get down the vent and help his teammates out. He's kind of waiting for Psycho Fine to come go through secret. And he comes back up. They seem very unsure, crazy, as to what's going on. And we got very dead set in this B site, but they're coming back vents. 10 seconds. Toxic is left. He's giving them an avenue. Psycho Find, does he shut it down? He does. <laughs> what a weird turn of events. If Psycho Find committed to secret and Toxic went down vents, that could have played out a bit different. Yeah, luckily he was kind of aware that was an option, so he was ready for that. 15 to 4 now. I, I really don't have faith until Crazy get close to that double digits. Like if they get near double digits, that's when I'll start to kind of believe. But as of right now, it, it, it almost feels like a formality. An Amiga, they're going to go on the AKs. A single uh, Mac 10 for Box, who will probably be entry fragging. It looks like towards the A site. It does not appear to be there to be stopping. Oh, Flash is coming in through the loop. They're going for the flood. A one for one trade so far. Yo, can get the second. Psycho Five is now committed onto the bomb site. He drops down. He finds one. He's going for more, but Speed Act has a better steps. And shot for shot it goes. But Amiga are up a man. Well, just for a moment before Lollipop will finish it off, Roy. 16 to 4. One player. On crazy, got to double digits, and it's Dem Q, and it's mainly thanks to that ace. Yeah. Namiga have four players fragging out of their minds. Twenty-four, <laughs> right? And eight. Yeah, two of which over 180 are the other two over 80. Um, so we can kind of see who brought the heat, Roy. Yes, and they could. put that Definitely. on. They put that stuff on everything. And I think the thing that concerns me the most about this whole thing, how this is all playing out, is this is actually. Crazy's map pick. Like we we're on we're on Crazy's yeah. territory right now. Yeah. We're not on Namiga's territory. So we're going into the second territory now, which is Namiga's map pick. And this is I feel like with this with this sweeping first first map win, it's kind of tough. And it's gonna be Mirage. We've seen Namiga play that map so many times, and they are terrifying on that map, especially on a map that sometimes feels random in some ways. But they seem oddly cohesive and, and oddly well structured and. I have concerns. I definitely have some concerns. But before I could, before we talk about these concerns, we are going to cut to a break. And this is the second map coming up. The winner of this match, if it's Namiga, or the winner of this entire series of matches, is going to be moving on to the grand finals of season four of the Winners League for the EU division. Uh, I could not have picked any better teams to be contesting this. I'm so excited to see the second map unfold. But before we see it, we will have to cut to a break. And we'll see you back here shortly. Don't go anywhere. Stay tuned and enjoy the music. 